Hey everyone, it's Fahrenheit4051 here, and today's video is going to be a comparison of these four Federal Signal Vibratone horns. We're going to start this video clockwise from the top left with the oldest one, the A-Series. This one is connected to my Space Age Electronics AV32 light plate, a very old one at that, and is silver. They also made these in red, but this one is silver. So as you can see, the grill is quite open. It does have that round perforation. The earliest version actually was completely flat on the sounder plate. You can see a giant capacitor here and a massive electromagnet in the center. The current draw on this is massive as well. You can see from the tag, this nice, beautiful all-metal tag, the current draw is a full 200 milliamps, or 0.2 amps. Now that might be due to inefficiency, but this thing is also extremely loud. Probably the loudest of the four. Moving on, we have the B-series Vibratone. This one is a Series B2. You can see more reinforcements were added to the grill. This one is behind my Simplex 2903-9001 light plate. And is a little different. The electromagnet coil shrunk. The hammer can be seen more easily. There's a bit of a gold tint here. Not sure if that's due to oxidation or some special coating. And there are two wires sticking out. You can see the tag right here. This is labeled as the 2901-9806 by Simplex. And this one only draws 63 milliamps. Um, so that is about it for this horn. This horn is also very loud. Almost as loud as the A-Series, but probably not quite. So I would say the horn's probably a more efficient consumer of power. Now these are also B-Series Vibratones. This is a Series B4, as is this one. This one has the original Federal Signal tag, whereas this one is labeled a 2901-9806, just like this one. Sorry for the change in lighting as some clouds decide to roll by, but these two are newer. They're both B4 series, which can be distinguished from the B2 by this cross-shaped additional reinforcement here. These are newer, as you can tell by the glossier finish and unpainted sounder plate. But the B4 was actually introduced at the same time as these B2s, so you'll see some B4s that have this color scheme and some B2s with this color scheme. So it's just an option that Federal Signal offered for additional protection. Knock on metal there. Now, this one has the original Federal Signal label, whereas this one, you've probably seen it before, is another 2901-9806. Another distinction is that this one only draws 35 milliamps versus the 9806, which draws 63. So Federal Signal offered both of these options at the same time, the low current draw and the high current draw. The high current draw was, of course, louder, and the only one that was offered by Simplex. So Federal Signal offered both versions simultaneously. I think this was introduced slightly later. I don't think that there were ones that are as old as that one that had the low current draw option. But I digress. Now this is also a horn strobe with a series... VALS, or rather model VALS, or VALS Vizzler strobe, series T1. I'm not sure if you can see it with the poor focus of the camera. But this one is a full horn strobe, and what I mean by that is this is not a retrofit strobe that's been wire nutted on, but is actually hardwired, soldered into the horn contacts right here in parallel. Now the difference between these and Wheelock's 7002T is that this strobe, if I were to cut the contacts and run it separately, it would actually work. This is an independently running strobe, not a parasitic one. So this horn will not skip when I power it up. You'll also notice that there are four wires coming out of each of these. I guess that makes them easier to wire up, so you don't have to crowd the wires all together under the same wire nut. Not entirely sure though. Uh, I don't see any other important distinctions to point out, so without further ado, we're going to get to the testing phase of this video.